Hey everyone, it's Sammy from the Sephora at Fashion Square in Sherman Oaks. And for a lot of people, color correcting can be very, very confusing. So I'm very excited to show y'all today how to get a very easy, bright complexion. Stay tuned. First things first, I am going to prime my face. For primer, I am using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This primer is very, very unique. It's actually derived from a hemp-derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract. It's going to be extremely hydrating, and it's going to make sure you get that all-day hold. Now, something to be aware of with this primer is it will feel a little bit sticky and tacky when you first put it on your face, but the moment you start layering makeup over it, it settles very nicely, and you won't have that sticky feeling the whole day. All right, so I'm going to dive in with my color correctors now. So I am going to be picking up the Sephora Collection Bright Future Color Corrector in the shade melon. I typically like to use this peachy color corrector around my eyes. So I'll do in the corner of my eye, under my eye, and kind of 360. I'll blend it all the way around. Now this melon is a very nice peachy tone, so it's going to be perfect for any blue shades, darkness, any place that you might really want to brighten. Next I am picking up the yellow shade of the same Sephora Collection Bright Future Color Corrector. So I'm applying this everywhere I have redness. Forehead, kind of the cheek, around the nose, around my my mouth. I'm sure a lot of people have seen other artists use green color correctors to correct redness. I actually love to use yellow for redness because I find it's a lot easier to cover if you're putting a lightweight base over it. It does the same exact thing as the green, but it's a little bit more close to a natural skin tone. So taking my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend this all in. Now there's no real technique to do this. Just to keep it quick, I am blending it in with that beauty blender. Now these gel serum color correctors are amazing for brightening. They're very, very hydrating. They actually have a pineapple extract in them, so they're going to really promote that brightness and that smooth texture in the skin. They blend beautifully, and they're also paraben-free. Color correctors are really great products to use if you don't want to have to layer a full coverage foundation or a full coverage concealer. When I am going for my lighter tinted moisturizer type days, I typically will use use color corrector that way I can avoid putting too many layers on my face so you can already see how much of a difference these color correctors have made my under eye looks so much brighter my redness has really been taken down now I just want to really even out my complexion so I have that smooth color all the way over my face so using the bare minerals complexion rescue tinted moisturizer broad spectrum SPF 30 in the shade spice 08 I am going to pour some of this onto the back of my hand and pick it up with the beauty blender. I'm just going to pat it all into my face. A little bit about this tinted moisturizer and why it's my favorite. It's oil free, but it's also going to be extremely hydrating. There's SPF 30, which is amazing, and you're going to get that dewy, effortless, skin-like finish. Now, for my lighter days, I'm all about looking like natural skin. I don't want to look like I have a mask on my face, so this is perfect for giving me just the right amount of coverage, but it still looks like me. And now, to even out the tone around my eyes, I am going to be using the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I love this concealer. It's crease-proof, it's very light. You can get a medium coverage, you can get a full coverage, or you can share it out with a beauty blender like I'm doing. It's going to just give us a lot of brightness, and it's also really good for covering up any blemishes you might have. So blending this product 360 around my eyes and blend it out into the rest of my tinted moisturizer so it looks nice and even. My shade of this concealer is 230. It's about like three shades lighter than the rest of my skin, but you can easily blend it out to make it work. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to crease a lot under my eyes, even if I am using a matte concealer, so I really want to set this product down. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes with my Sephora Collection Number no. 12 Pro All Over Shadow Brush. This powder is very unique. It's different than just your typical translucent powder. It has a very weightless feel and it is specifically for the under eye area. So now if you struggle with powders showing any texture, lines, fine lines, creases, anything like that with the under eye, this is the powder for you. It has a little bit of a light reflector to it, so it's going to brighten, but just make sure that concealer stays laid throughout the whole entire day. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Sephora's channel. Bye!